So hello, Driven by Moss 11.7 is out and it brings some new features for the Ableton Push as well. And the first one I'd like to show you is adding tracks. It works now a little bit differently because uh, one missing feature in Bitwig is that you cannot store track templates. So I thought, why not do it ourselves? So if you press here on add track, you get now a menu where you can add as usual instrument audio and effect tracks. So if you choose the one reading empty you can create an empty audio track empty effect track and an empty instrument track but the other options give you the options to directly add a plugin to that. So for example, if I choose here the drum machine, I can click on that and I get a new channel which contains a drum machine plugin ready to play. How can you configure that if you go into your settings? So let's open here the settings. You see your Ableton push settings. And you can scroll down to the bottom of that and there is a add track favorite devices settings. There you can configure seven instrument track templates, three audio and three effect plugins. Uh, you can choose from all the Bitwig devices and I added all the VST devices I own myself. So it's all the Korg, Captain plugins, some open source ones, all the native instruments, Omnisphere and all Yuhi plugins and yeah, some other ones as well. Uh, sadly, there's no function in Bitwig where you can list all the available plugins on your computer. So that little work around I had to add and look up all the IDs. So that's only the ones I know. Same is for the audio. So you can pick all the Bitwig ones and then I added also the selection of plugins I own. And yeah, that's basically it. So you can choose, for example, to add you want to have here a Bazilla device from UE directly here on your track and you can play it uh, straight away. So uh, quite a time saver. Let's go to the drum machine here. Let's create a little clip. Uh, let's go to here, here. Drum machine. Bam, bam, bam. Let's do some four on the floor here, just that we hear something. And let's go to the session view. And let's also create some clips here. So a new feature here is that you see now the clip which is selected for editing is glowing white. So this helps you a little bit easier to get around here in your grid view. So you can select that one or that one for editing and you see the one which is selected is the one which is glowing white. And another little feature is if we go back here to the one where we had some input, let's play back and let's go here to the mix view and um, yeah you see the view meters in green and the new feature is now if you mute the track it's now displayed also in the mute color and this helps easier to see if the track is really playing or not the same is also for the channel so if you go back here into the channels and i would mute here uh, the kick drum or the the snare you see also here the color is the muted one that's it for the push uh, in the new 11.7 driven by moss uh, uh, update and I hope you like it and make some funky music